What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna get started back up on the Jeep CJ7. So we've been trying to get this thing roadworthy. It is drivable, but it's got a few things in it still that we need to work out before we can take it on actual like road trips. So I'm gonna show you guys what we got here. All right, as you can see, we got the Jeep staged up, got our chalk blocks. Uh, and today we're gonna be working on the rear brake assembly. So due to the pandemic, we've been ordering parts and they've just been taking a lot longer to come in. So when we plan stuff on the Jeep, we have to plan multiple things at once. And then as the parts come in, uh, you know, we start tackling it. So here we've got the rear brake kit for both the left and the right side. We've got the rear diff uh, gasket because that started leaking. Our tools for the rear uh, brakes here. And then of course the main problem it has, it being the rear main seal is leaking. Went ahead and got these at AutoZone. They had it along with the oil pan gasket. Gonna go ahead and do another uh, oil change on it. Put fresh oil and a new filter, even though what is in the Jeep right now is still brand new. But we wanna go ahead and break it in properly. Remember guys, the Jeep has zero miles. So let me show you that again. Zero miles. So every mile from here on out is gonna be a break in. And uh, we wanna see how everything's wearing in. We're gonna go ahead and uh, check our filters and our oil. So without further ado, we're gonna get started, jack up the rear end, start taking these massive tires off. All right guys, so we've got the driver's side uh, rear brakes apart. As you can see, everything is brand new. You got the cylinder, the springs, uh, all the adjusters. You got the brake shoes. These are nice and new. And if you look at the uh, cover here, you can tell it's never been used. But on the passenger side, the uh, parking cable broke or one of the cables broke. And that's why we're gonna go ahead and replace all the hardware on both sides. I'll show you guys that on the other side when we take that side apart. All right guys, got everything taken apart. Took a little bit of elbow grease. Um, just wanna show you guys the cable I was talking about that broke on the passenger side is this one right here. This is the one that broke. Um, I think we reused some of this hardware because of all the stuff that was on back order. Here's the new, new one. You can tell the difference. And you can see the new adjuster. Put the old one in the bag. So just a few parts that we were missing uh, due to the pandemic everything being on back order. So now I'm going to reassemble this side and then give it a quick uh, test. And then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the uh, passenger side here. All right guys, that took about 30 minutes and some headaches, but uh, got the new uh, hardware in there. Uh, where's the old stuff? It's right here. Saved all the old parts, um, the adjuster and the cable. So got everything back up on there. Uh, you guys might recall that these might come with some screws that hold the drum in place here. Uh, been on some forums because some of the guys have been asking like, where can you get them? There's no part number for them. And somebody came to the, somebody who used to work at a plant or something like that mentioned that those were just set there to hold the drum in place during assembly as the axles were being moved so they wouldn't fall off. And if you think about it, once you put the wheel up against the uh, drum here, the wheel and the lug nuts are gonna hold everything in place. So just in case you guys are wondering, because you see I don't have those uh, placement holder uh, screws there. So now I'm gonna get the uh, wheel, put it back on and then go work on the other side and get that done. So I'll probably just time lapse that. So let's get started. And uh, I said this before in the initial video, it's a rough country lift. As you can see here, it says rough count. Just in case you're wondering, it's rough country. I've just put some uh, some spray paint under here and some uh, body liner stuff because because it's been sitting, you see it starts rusting again. It's just surface rust. So we hit it with a little can of paint, but it's a rough country lift, not rough count or rough cunt, uh, rough country. All right, guys, got the passenger side off. This is what I was talking about, the cable that broke. As you guys saw, we replaced this on the other side. We're gonna replace the adjuster as well, this bracket, um, what else? And all the other stuff. But basically once this broke, the uh, shoes stay open. So this is a little more difficult to uh, take off. So 
Gonna go ahead and uh, replace all this stuff and we'll be done. All right, guys, so we just finished up the rear brakes. We went and got a battery tender, uh, tender, engine starter, battery charger. So it's got this 40 amp boost and this 200 amp engine start because we've been chasing this electrical gremlin uh, in the Jeep that's killing the battery. Um, so we just hooked this up and we could hear the coil right there in blue. Uh, you can hear current running through it, right? And everything's off. So we're trying to figure that out. We unplugged it. This just clips right into the uh, blue coil there. Uh, the moment we unplug it, you don't hear anything. So we're trying to figure that out because when the Jeep is completely off, that is still like drawing a current. So Let's see if we can figure this out. So we found that, why is this dirty? Why is it's it? Fog. Oh, it's fogging up. It's running under there breathing. So even with a key out of the ignition, this light stays on, the brake light. It was the turn signal. It turned out to be a, a harness underneath. Steering column, wiggled it. Got this off, but now this is staying on. And we don't have crank, right? We don't have spark. No spark. So, which we had. Which we had. So we fixed one thing, but we found another. And now he's just messing with the wires in the steering column, correct? No, you're on the you're other side the, of it. Here it is. On the body side of it. Here's the problem. Is that the body connector? No, this is the fuse box. Okay. So you're just wiggling the wires? Yep. Alrighty. So that's what we're working with. It's the fun part of building cars, building trucks. All right, guys, sadly, we couldn't get the Jeep to start after we tried fixing all that other stuff. So we did get the rear brakes replaced, but then we found out that we couldn't get the Jeep to crank. So we did get a jump box because we've been having issues where the Jeep doesn't uh, start or if it dies uh, after idling, it, you can't crank it back on, which is really weird because to us, it sounds like there's a live wire or something's drawing power when it shouldn't. So we got that jump box and when we hooked it up, uh, the distributor was making a buzzing noise and we think we fried it. So it was getting power when it shouldn't have. The other thing we noticed was that the driver's side of the Jeeps, those that reflect the light, the brake light, continues, continuously stayed on, right? So even the turn signal inside of the gauge was like dimly lit it was just the driver's side. Moving the wires underneath the dash, we were able to get the lights to flicker and even turn off. As we continued to try to get the Jeep to start, one of the main problems is that we remained seal was leaking. So every time we cranked it, even more oil was coming out of it and it started leaking even more. As we continued to crank the Jeep, more oil kept coming out of that rear main seal leak that I have. So I definitely need to take care of that. We didn't get to finish all this stuff and we had to move the Jeep right back over to the side of the garage because my dad had a flight and he almost missed it because we were so caught up in working on the Jeep. So anyways, that's gonna wrap up today's video, um, but I'm actually about to start doing that rear main seal. So I'm wrapping up this video so it's not like a 45 you know, minute to an hour long video, but I'm gonna start today by doing the rear main seal. Uh, actually, I lied, I'm right here, I'm looking at the uh, rear diff seal and rear diff fluid. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna keep handling all the mechanical stuff. And once I got all the leaks taken care of and all these fluids done up, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right back into the electrical and think I need to buy a new distributor. So I hope you guys stick around for that. And if you guys like these videos, you know what to do. Leave a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Until next time guys, peace out.